accessibility. That's the topic today. Are you accessible? Is your art accessible? Well, I think before we can get started, we need to take a look at the definition of accessible and accessibility. These are two very important topics to an artist. And if you think they shouldn't be, I implore you, keep watching, because they should be what you are. Okay, did we all read that? What does it mean to be accessible? Well, let's talk about it from the perspective of your artwork first. Accessible art is art that people can look at, take in, question, comment on, interact with, enjoy, maybe even purchase, an understanding of maybe what the medium is. It could mean understanding how it goes on a wall. It could be knowing a little bit about the artist. It could be your artist's statement, giving them an indication of what's going on in the piece. I know good art should stand on its own. And you know what? For certain people, they can do that. They can look into a piece and they can absolutely understand it on some level of their own. That doesn't mean they're going to understand it from where the artist is coming from. I mean, think about it. You've, you've had this song in your head, whatever song, and it just hits you for a very specific reason. And then you go and read the lyrics <clears throat> and actually understand it a little bit more, and whammo, it's totally different for you now. <clears throat> you see, there are ways we interpret what we take in visually through our hearing and through our senses, and then there's the subjective part about it and how other people will take it in. Sometimes we need to give people a little bit of help. And that involves being able to talk about our work, to be able to write about our work, to bring it to life in a way that some people will need and other people will just enjoy. That's accessible art. Also, it needs to be out there in the world so it's getting seen. I mean, I mean, if you just keep it all in your home and it's never out in the world, it's not very accessible, is it? Now, the one qualifier I would make to that is don't be everywhere. Only be where it suits you and it makes sense for you. And only make the art that you purely love without the reasoning of, oh, this will be saleable. That's my only caveat there. Accessibility from the standpoint of you, the artist. What does that mean? Are you on social media? Are you sharing things? Are you out in public seeing people, talking to people? Do people know that they can interact with you and tell you they love it or they hate it? I mean, I do this all the time. I'm constantly telling people, well, oh, here's a fail. And in return, I'm getting people who like it. See, art is subjective. That's another word we should probably just do a deep dive on in one of these videos. In this world, we form opinions based on our experiences, our upbringing, our place in life, and just all kinds of things. But that might not be the exact same as you. So when I put a piece out there and say it's a fail and somebody says they like it, wow, that's kind of cool. One, they know I'm accessible. They can say that to me. If I can pick on myself, they can pick on me. And at the same time, if I can pick on myself, they can compliment me. See, if all I'm doing is putting out my best work ever, well, that's not really accessible. And it's not really showing people the reality of being an artist. It's actually, you know, making it look easy. Having said that, accessibility is what offers people the opportunity to be able to talk to you, interact with your artwork, absorb it a little bit, apply their own meanings to it even. I mean, no, the first time it happened to me where somebody else applied their meaning to a piece of work and looked at me and said, well, all art is subjective. Kind of can't argue with that point. 
and I came to realize it's actually okay if people interpret things different. And it's actually okay if I put out my version, they put out theirs, and then we discuss it. Because isn't that what art is supposed to do? Cause thought? Maybe cause some change, even within us, the artist? I think that's a pretty beautiful thing. And it's the part about being a glorious artist that can be so much fun if you're accessible. On the other hand, if you're not accessible and you're always putting things out there that are negative, well, that's a problem. What do I mean by negative? Well, that's really easy. Everybody wants an artist to do it for free because we've made it look really easy. Because we're closed-minded, we can't allow that thought to come in. I mean, hey, I've done some trades that have been pretty amazing. I've done some you'll get great exposure that has been pretty amazing. If I'm accessible, people will come to me with these thoughts. And I have found that more often than not, when they come to me, it is because they value my work. It is because they would like it to be a part of what they are doing. And they're taking a big risk, even when... They know they can't maybe afford to pay for that work in the same way. I use it as an opportunity for a discussion. Okay, is there some way we can work out a trade? Is there some way we can barter a little bit? Is there some way we can expand the exposure I'll be getting? And if it's a two-way street, if it's give and take, yeah, you betcha. I'm going to take them up on that offer. Why wouldn't I? I mean... If I'm accessible and I'm open-minded and I'm willing to listen to the ideas and have an exchange and meet them halfway, isn't it a compromise and a win-win situation? So I think our first thing in this world today is to be offended right away. I don't have to explain this. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. This isn't right. I'm treated wrong. But what if we stay open-minded and just try to look at it from their point of view and work out a better way. I mean, isn't that spreading a change that's even better? But see, even that begins with being accessible. I mean, I know people who could have had a lot of opportunities presented to them that would have been amazing. But I also saw them post repeatedly all over the place. Artists are taken advantage of. Nobody respects an artist. And that's just simply not true. We get taken advantage of when we allow ourselves to be taken advantage of. And we get disrespected when we disrespect our own work. You know, what you put out into the world is what you get back. Those artists didn't get those opportunities presented to them and therefore didn't get the power of that great exposure, a collaboration, and maybe something in kind in exchange. And it's simply amazing to me how quickly we are to say, well, you have offended me. That is also not accessible. I've also found that there have been occasions where I haven't been able to take advantage of those. But I've explained my reasoning. I've explained my position. And I have invited them to come back and ask me again at a time where maybe we can both do a little bit different. Maybe we can make it work out in the future. That is being accessible. I don't shut people down who want to talk to me about my artwork on any level. If they love it, they hate it, they want to abuse it, they want to use it, we're going to have a conversation. Those are my opportunities to educate people in a kind and respectful, accessible way. You'd be surprised what you can find out when you do those things, what you can learn about, what resources might be available to both parties. I've already had one place come back to me and say, yeah, this is what we can do for you. And it led to a little bitty event with a little bitty organization that I gained collectors from. It's being accessible. I mean, if we are not understandable and we are not accessible and our art isn't understandable or accessible, who's going to relate to it? How can they relate to it? What motivation do they have to want to relate to it? In fact, if anything, I would say those things are a big turnoff. So just like we talked about gauging your success in the last video, I'm going to add this to the list. Are you and your art accessible? Because if you're not, you probably are not going to succeed. This is, again, the price of admission. What you going to do? Either you want to 
get that admission into that world of those dollar sign successes or you don't. And yeah, it's going to take you learning to like people a little bit more than maybe you do or approaching people differently than you do now, being a little bit more firm in your stances. See, there's a group of artists that let themselves get taken advantage of and then they get a little jaded and nothing's ever in it for them and they've devalued their art. And there's another group that they're a little negative and they put it out there and they don't get the opportunities. And then there's a very thin sliver right down the middle of artists who think it can be both ways. It's how I handle it and it's about keeping doors open because doors open is a wonderful thing. Oh,